Hey guys, it's Ellen and it's Monday, so you know what that means. Look up close. You can see all the imperfections, but as you scroll back, it's Mini Monday Madness. It's a little mini three inch by three inch painting. Um, love doing minis on Mondays because it just gets you out of your comfort zone. You can have like a little gallery when you finish. So today we're doing a little flower shop. Obviously I go over this step by step. It's super easy for any beginner because I break down how to draw this and then just fill it in with paint, with watercolor. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit that bell notification button, please hit that bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And please, please leave a comment, guys, if you have any questions. I would love to hear back, you know, what you think about the mini Mondays or any of my tutorials or any questions you have. Um, also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the Traceable. Um, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a place where you can go and see exclusive tutorials that I do. I have traceables from my YouTube and my exclusive tutorial. Um, I have ad-free videos and a live stream once a month um, on the top tier as well as a download from me. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate. The little I button right here, you can see that and that will show you the link to the Patreon. So without further ado, let's get painting on mini flower shop. All right, guys, for this tutorial, I'm going to go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper in a three inch square because it's mini Monday. I'll be using my Princeton eight long round velvet touch series brush, water jars, paper towels, and my paints. I'll be going, in the, going over the paints as I use them, but basically in my palette, you know, I'll have Prussian blue, ultramarine deep um, neutral tint, Verdier blue, burnt umber, peacock blue, Cadmium yellow deep. Here I have uh, bright, bright, bright rose. I have some magenta in here. I don't use this, and I have some brilliant orange. But I always talk about which colors I use, and they're always in the description box. The description box, if you, when you look at my YouTube channel and my video, there's description. There's some words on the left hand side that say show more. There's a little teeny V underneath that. You hit that. This huge box drops down, and you scroll through the box, and you'll see my all my links and the supplies that I use, okay? So like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you can just download the traceable. If not, I'm just gonna show you how to draw a quick little, um, little cute little florist. <laughs> you know, basically think of shapes again. So we're gonna have the the main store and the kind of a, I wouldn't say a square, it's more of a rectangle, right? And then the roof. So the roof is gonna come out from this part here on an angle. Right, and then another rectangle here for the top of the sign. Under this roof, we'll do a little curly Q awning. Right, and then you're gonna do the stripes for the awning. Just bring them down. You lean them as they go on the left, as they go in the center, you go straight, and then you lean them as they go to the right. See that? Boom. But then you picture like whatever you wanna put in the front, but I have my door kind of here on the left, right, to the floors. And then there's a window here. So again, rectangle, rectangle. And then I put some topiary, so basically a pot, potted plant. So it's line here, line here, and then you're curving downward, right? And then this little stick and then a round circle, small stick, a small circle, round circle, small circle. There's your topiaries, right? The window here will have a window box. So put like extending out from the window. This would be the box. Put little details of the, the window here and then you're just gonna really just loosely put in some flowers in the window box and in the doorway, the window. I'm sure you can, you can make a different type of window. You can make like a round like window like this. You know, I had like another detailed here of trim. And then in front of this window, I have more pots and just various flowers, right? And then you just, just, to, just put in details for yourself flowers. That's basically how I do it. You know, and you can just change up all this. You can make the door on the right side, the window bigger. It doesn't have to have the window box. It can just have all a bunch of potted plants out here. You can put a different kind of sign. The sign could be under here bigger. The awning could be smaller. The door could be in the middle with two windows on the side. These are how you can change it up to make it your own. So. Let's get back to our little guy here. I, I'm sorry, it was over here. Oh, I'm sorry. One supply I forgot to mention that I'll be using my Shotry 
a Sharpie pen, permanent marker, ultra fine point. So this is an ink and wash tutorial. So once you have your drawn little image in here, and then we're just going to go ahead and draw over it, because this Sharpie pen might be kind of dull, um, right over your image that you drew with your pencil. And then you can erase your pencil once you finish you know, drawing this all in. So I'll just go in here. And this is where you can put lots of little details with the pen and ink, you know. Just go ahead and do the whole awning. If you didn't want to use the pen part for the awning, you know, and again, for the topiary, you know, if it's going to be greens, it's kind of like make these like little wiggles. Here's your little stick for the ball. And again, here's your pot. Now you can make the pot super fancy or non fancy, depending on how you want to do it. You just put all, see, I just kind of like to tip, tap, 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 so if you want to indicate leaves. There's a little things you can do. Now you're going to also figure out you're going to have a light source coming from the right, from the left, from the front. You know, think about these things when you're drawing them. So obviously the light source you can tell already is coming from the right, so it's darker on the left. See how the darker on the side here? And then I have little pots down here. Cute little pots. Simple. There could be anything in them. Flowers, plants, they don't have to be. I put like a maybe an aloe type plant here. Maybe put some tulips in this one since it's spring. Just simple tulip shapes in their leaves. Here I might do some more kind of flouncy, kind of big flowers. And you just kind of do a curly cue shape with some leaves. And I'll put in the door. So I'm kind of redrawing this again for you, but my door. It's a little ornate with the trim. You know, make it as ornate as you want or less ornate. Whatever's, whatever folks you boat. See, I'm just going in here, pull the doorknob, and then I have like the flower. I decided to put a flower box in front of my window. Like I said, you don't have to do that. You put a curtain inside there. So I'm going to do a mixture of like maybe tulips, maybe round flowers, daisy flowers, some more tulips, because it's supposed to be spring, right? And you know, you don't have to fill in like little paint by numbers. You can just kind of fill, fill it in with color too. See, I'm kind of just kind of wiggling in some pen lines here. It doesn't have to be serious. And then I just do a little dash line out here on the side to indicate, uh, you know, the street, whatever. And you can write the word flowers. It's easy to do with the pen, uh, you know. Or you can write the store name. Maybe it could be like if you give this to somebody for a gift, you can write their name, like, you know, or balloons you could write. You know, you can write Joe's Flower Shop, Susie's Flower Shop, um, whatever, whatever kind of fancies, you know, whatever thing. If you're giving this gift, like I said, you can give it Susie's Flower Shop. Maybe somebody you know loves to garden and you want to give them a little painting for a gift. Now, this is mini, but you can always make it bigger. See, once you pen it all in, then I take this gum eraser that I have and I just erase all my pencil marks that I made before. And then we're just gonna start to put in some paint. It's a really simple thing to do. You can do shapes and you can do some wiggle lines with the pen. You can make this. So you do shading with the pen. You just kind of like tapping it like this, see? But we're gonna do that with the, with the ink, uh, the, the watercolor also. This might be a good thing to do also with watercolor pencils since it's smaller. You know, play around with that. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Oh, my lighting. Well, the outside got really dark outside, so the lighting might have affected. So I'm gonna make this awning uh, more of like a, like a Tiffany turquoise blue, right? So I'm gonna use my peacock here. Grab some peacock. Clean up my brush, grab a little of this cabin yellow deep. And it's gonna be green, I'll have to keep adding. 
So I get this Tiffany color blue. It's kind of like a turquoise blue. Mm, got a little too green. Also, keep a scrap close by if you want to really mix up the colors to, to a certain color that you like. So you're mixing that. So I've got the deep card of it, and you just kind of water it down a little bit. Let's see how turquoisey it is. It's a little too turquoisey. Maybe I'll add a touch of ultramarine deep just to tone it down a little bit. Let's see how we got now. It's getting there. A little more blue. It looks very dark right here. But when you add water to it, it's much lighter. So it's kind of like that Tiffany blue. A little bit. Maybe go back and add a little more peacock. <laughs> it's a constant battle, right? It doesn't have to be that color. I'm gonna add a little more yellow. So you have to mix that color. All right, that works for me. And I'll water this down. So now the consistency is like tea, very wet. And I was tapping my paper towel to get the excess water off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my awning stripes, right? The little um, band on the bottom, you can leave white, or you can make it a color. So it does become like, I like the ink and wash because it's a little freeing, a little bit easier if you're just starting out. Um, you can make it more advanced by making your details more advanced by adding in, you know, this kind of simpler design, but you can add in much more detailed flowers, shading on all the watercolor too. And I want the building, so I'm going to leave this part white. I want the building to be this turquoise too. I think it's a pretty color. It's almost like a Tiffany flower shop. So I'm going in here, just filling this in, all the little spaces. The doorway could be that color as well. We don't have to make it separate. I'm just going to peek in through here, and I'll even make the doorway similar color. We're going to add some shadows. Keeping the glass not that color. So I'm kind of filling this in with that Tiffany kind of blue. I think it's a pretty color. Just filling this all in. And then we'll go back in and we'll add more details down the bottom here because there's a little space in between. And voila. The topiary, you know, pots could be gray, they could be terracotta. I think we'll do a little terracotta because again, blue and orange are complementary colors, so it'll be, be kind of pretty. Um, I'll use my cadmium, oh, it's a mess. Sorry, excuse me guys. So I'm just gonna make up a terracotta color. You can use a red, so I have this cadmium red here. I'll add a little yellow to that. Cadmium red light, more red. So it's like an orange. Maybe add a little burnt umber to it. Or you can add some blue because it's complementary. It will add a little brown tones to it. So you take an orange color and you add a little blue to it, which I'm taking the ultramarine. See, now it's like a much more brown. See? Brown. You could add a little pink, brighten it up if you want to. Change it up again. It's like a pinky brown. You know, that's the way you can make brown without putting in brown. So I'm going to add some more yellow and some red again. Yeah, perfect. And a touch of blue. Okay, so I've got my color for some of these pots. This terracotta color. Now I think I'm going to take these ones, make them different. They could be gray. Maybe make this particular one. I don't want three of the same color. I'll add a little more pink tones to it. So I have some of this bright rose. I'm adding it to this terracotta color. Just to change it up a little bit. 
you can bleed in a little blues just to make it a little it could be looking a little dirty but it has different tones these outer ones I'll just make them gray I love this color neutral tint I'll just water this down and we'll fill in some grays again we're just washing in the single wash color of all this stuff right now and then we'll go back in and we'll add the highlights of the deep shadows that really make it pop we're just kind of it's this it's the first wash just to figure out where you want your colors and I think I'm gonna go back in and make the sign blue too you don't have to do any of this like I'm doing you can change every single color It's just what I feel like doing. Okay, for the topiaries, green, obviously. I'll take my cadmium yellow deep. Make some peacock blue. We got a nice pretty green here. <coughs> the flower box, I do want to make like a deep green. So I'll have Prussian blue, which is up here. And I'll add yellow. Get it much darker and want blue again. Deep green. Can add a little bit of this pink instead of adding brown, you, but you can go ahead and add brown too, brown amber. Get a much deeper green. Got my yellow. And voila. So I want this box to be a deep dark green. Going in between all those little flowers here. You could make it brown, you don't have to make it this color, but I wanted a deep dark green. See, we're filling it all in. And then for the topiaries, you can keep them green with some flowers or you just keep them green themselves. So I have that medium green I mixed up. If you add more water to it, it dilutes it so it's lighter. We'll go add a little more yellow to it. See, I'm just grabbing some yellow. It's more like a limeier green. So it's very bright. Just a simple green. You wanted a different color than the box. How cute that is already. Use that same green to fill in some of the greenery and your flowers. Note how I'm just kind of just simply putting in the color here. Just filling it in. We can go back in again. I'm gonna grab some more yellow, mix that in with that green too. Make it nice and bright. Just kind of loosely washing in, see, but very minimal water, like almost like butter. Just tapping in a little green. You can tap in the deeper green too in between this, but we start off with just the light green first. Just filling in where the greenery would be for all these flowers. Really simple. All right. I'm going to go back to the awnings and the outside. Now I water that green down, that bluish turquoisey color down. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Grabbing my blue here. Sorry, I have to mix up some more. And then you can go in and make it a little bit darker here underneath. That's a little too bright. I'll add some brown. Okay. So I had that blue. I had a touch of burnt umber to it. I'm just going to go under here to give the shadow. See how I'm just kind of wiggling my brush, but going under that awning part, the shadow. It's going to be much darker. And over here and here. And we kind of fill that in for these little doodads of trim. The windows you can fill in black or deep 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 dark gray. So I'm using that darker color to fill in this trim. You see this? And the trim by the flower pots. And I could use it here with a shadow but also a shadow here on the right hand side. Remember the sun's coming this way so in the back here underneath the pots would be darker. 
And then up in here, we'll have a little dark color, just kind of just in the top part, not all the way, you see? Kind of just grabbing that, taking my brush, making these little lines going downward. And then you can kind of take that same color, outline the trim here. Maybe a little bit darker if you want to. So you can add a little more dark color here on the side of the door here. And you can get even deeper on this side up in here in the corner if you want to do that. Just adding some coloration to that. So the inside windows, I'm just going to take my neutral tint color. I'm just going to fill that in. Just take your time with this. We'll do the flowers before we do the window here. And we water down the neutral tint a little more, so like a medium gray. And again, put the shadow on the left side. See, I'm adding that little bit of lip under the lip, and then on the left side, and a little bit on the bottom. See that? Now, let's flower colors, anything, tulip colors. You want to do yellows, you want to do pink, so really just simple, straightforward. You're grabbing some pink or yellows. I'm mixing my pink with my red. It can be very bright or not very bright, just kind of filling in all the little flowers. So just doing some bright tulips here. If you want to just keep like maybe, okay, all pink tulips here, then all yellow flowers here, that might be great. Then, or you can just do the multi too. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to grab some yellow. I feel like there should be some yellow flowers here. Just see, yeah, I'm just tapping it in. I'm not really doing anything special. And then I think I'll do a purple. So I'll take my ultramarine deep and my bright rose, make a nice purple. Just water it down just a little bit and then we'll put some purple colors up here. Because remember, we're doing spring flowers. I'm going to do a combination of purples and yellows and pinks up here. I'm just tapping the color in. So purple and yellow, complementary colors. And then I'll just tap in some pink tones. Oops, a little purple. So just put in some little tap, 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 pink. See, just really simple. It looks cute though. Try not to get it muddy by tapping in if it's green is wet. A little pink. And then the window, you can do the same thing with this window. Then we do that one window and we just fill it in with the neutral tint. Just be careful with this. Don't get it too wet. And now I can see where I'm missing some color. So maybe here I'm missing some blue. Or and then the topiaries. We get our green. We just add some deeper green. I'm just kind of see I'm just taking the tip of my brush doing these little taps. So it looks like a little topiary dark green taps. Grab the dark green, just gonna tap it on the left hand side. You can add some little bit of the Prussian blue right in with that tapped color. And then you can take some burnt umber and fill in the stem of the topiary. At this point, you have to figure out what kind of ground you want. You can just do some grays and browns. I'm mixing brown with gray, actually. Just kind of filling that, maybe more gray for the street. See, it's simple. And then we'll do some cast shadows with some blue. So I've got this nice kind of gray. I have to let it dry, though. Meanwhile, we just, like I said, we do all the little little things. We take the terracotta color, we put in a little deeper color, so we have the color we had before, maybe add a little brown to it. Go under the lip on the side, under the lip on the side, under the lip on the side. Got some oomph to it. We're going to fill in all the little details now, like the doorknob, just be black. The awning is, looks ridiculous just being plain old white. You can add some gray or some blue. 
I'm going to have some ultramarine blue mixed with a little gray. Tap on my paper towel and I'll just kind of put in a little bit of that color on the left side of that white strip and then on the little awning part also. You don't want a solid white. You want to, I'm moving this around like this. We see how I'm adding a little blues. Could add a little more ultramarine blue to it too. See? Or you can leave it super white. It's up to you. And I'll take my turquoise colors. I'm going to go in here, fill in some areas that look too white. All the little things you can do. <laughs> so now this gray is dry. I'm going to grab some ultramarine blue, water it down. And then I put a little shadow of the blue on the left from the pots. See that? Blue shadow. Little cast shadow. And I'm gonna go tweak all my stuff in here. Maybe add a like a little darker color in here. All these little things. To make it cute and maybe a little more Prussian blue to my deep green here right here let's get a little bit darker here it's just differentiate between the two the topiary and the little flower shop but that's pretty much it guys this is a cute little thing to do so simple I think it's simple once you draw it out simple shapes add flowers we're just tapping in little colors. Once you get the green in there, you can add some little touches of dark green in between your flowers. You don't have to look like perfect little flowers. It's a tiny little painting, <laughs> you know? Um, you can take some white gouache. I'm gonna have some white gouache here. Mix it in with your bright yellow and your green. And because it's opaque, you can sit above you can just kind of take little taps and highlight on more yellow actually. Your little topiaries on the right side. See I make a little yellow color, yellow green, just tapping that just to brighten it up. See how much brighter I got? You can add a sky, don't have to add a sky, but this is pretty much our little flower shop. Make the awning pink, you know, play around with it. It's so simple. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I really like to hear your thoughts on like the ink and wash. Um, you know, tell me how it worked out for you. This is something you like. I'm always looking for feedback. It'd be great if you guys can leave some comments. I'd love to hear what's, you know, I always like to know what people think. And some people think it might not be easy, but I be able to work it down for you. You can slow down the video and you can see how I draw it. So I think drawing is key essential. And then you can, like I said, you can go in and you can make they don't have to be these pots they could be in a baskets you know everything can be changed around like I talked about the door can be in a different position in the middle all kinds of stuff you could add a name a number curtains all that all that good hanging plants you know whatever so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you haven't hit the bell notification button please hit the bell notification button guys just have fun don't fret it's a mini Monday it's supposed to be cute and fun, and that's what we're doing. So take care, and I'll speak to you soon.